So maybe let's just start there. And, you know, why is there such a big push really in the last five years to, to talk about antibiotic usage in the swine industry? Well, that, you know, that's a great question. And I think um, we have seen a, an, an intense increase in um, uh, a desire to understand exactly what goes into the food supply and how antibiotics are used, not just from a food safety standpoint, but also in terms of how that might lead to resistance or um, create an opportunity for um, increased resistance in human infections and failures of treatment and so forth. I think it's important for us in the swine industry to recognize that you know, it's not just the farmers that everything is being scrutinized. Um, and it's really interesting when you dig in, there's there's antimicrobials that are used in manufacturing. There are antimicrobials used in crop production. Um, they're used in ethanol production. So really all of those uses are coming under more intense scrutiny as we get concerned about antibiotic, preserving antibiotics to fight human infections. And, I, you know, I think globalization plays a role um, we find colistin resistance in pigs in the U.S. Colistin is an antibiotic that's really a last line of use in a lot of human cases, but we don't use that in our pigs in the U.S. And, and part of how those resistance genes travel is related to the globalization of supplies and people movements and all those type things. Um, you know, there's more concern because the pipeline has dwindled substantially. There aren't a lot of new drugs coming down the pipeline to replace those uh, where resistance builds up. And then, you know, I think a lot of it is we can just see more of the problem now with these next generation sequencing techniques and, and really rapid genetic sequencing, we can look for antimicrobial resistance genes a lot faster. And we can look in a lot more places than we've been able to in the past. And, and I think we're starting to appreciate that we've only been looking at the tip of the iceberg historically. And and now we're getting a glimpse of the whole iceberg and it's a, you know, for lack of a better word, it's kind of chilling. Horrible pun. <laughs> right. 